adding the tag. They're both red because they're gonna be applied to that group. So I'll say, okay. So now we've got within here, uh, the business and personal, B for business, P for personal. I'm gonna try to have every transaction that I make either have business or personal you know, tagged on it now. So let's say we record some income and expenses. So if I go back on over here and make an invoice, for example, and let's just make a new customer, uh, eh, new customer, customer, customer number 10. <laughs> Generic customer number 10. All right, so we're gonna tab through this. I'm gonna say this is in February 020123. And I'm not worried about the locations. I'm gonna make sure to assign a tag to everything. And if it's gonna be revenue, it's gonna be business if I'm invoicing typically, because the only personal revenue I might have would be for my like W2 revenue or something like that, which I would put on the personal side. So I'm gonna say that uh, the product, let's say that we just have hours here and we're gonna say that it was $1,000, the good old $1,000. And then you could have uh, multiple line items here. Notice that I, I can't assign a tag to multiple different line items, which is similar kind of to the location tracking and does add kind of an, a complication to like our model here because I might have some expenses, for example, that I might need to be allocating out between multiple line items. However, oftentimes when you're doing this kind of scenario, breaking out business versus personal, the stuff that you need to allocate between business and personal uh, is, is stuff that's gonna be more complicated for taxes anyways, like your utility bill. You might have a home office and you would like to break it out between business and personal. Well, for taxes, you're still gonna have to do a separate schedule typically to kind of break that out. So it might not be a, a big issue, but remember the tags are similar to the location tracking in that we, we're not assigning it line item by line item, but we're assigning by transaction. So we can, we could, we can do an hours and I could say, eh, let's just keep it with hours, a thousand dollars. We'll save it. And if I go to my uh, balance sheet, so now we've got the accounts receivable reflected here. Now notice I don't on the drop down when I break this out on the drop down, I don't always have the tags on the drop down. You would think it would be similar to classes and location tracking, classes location, but you don't often have the tags capacity. But if you run the reports from the tags area, then then sometimes the reports look a little bit different. So that's a little bit weird with the tags. If I run the reports on the income statement and I hit the drop down here, I've got the location, I've got the classes, and then I've got these two, which I believe are tags that I made in prior presentations. I'm gonna refresh the screen. And now I do see the tags down here for the business and personal on the tags. So I can run that. If, if for whatever reason you don't see the tags showing up over here, then you might just run the reports from the tags area. This is something that's been a little, they've kind of, I think they're improving it as they run the reports. If you run the report from the tags area over here and then run the reports, you get a similar profit and loss, you know, by tag, which should match out. And you can see it's basically the same report now as the income statement. Now this should tie out to our total uh, for the profit and loss because we put a tag, we're gonna try to put a tag basically uh, to everything so that it's gonna tie out to our total profit and loss. So if I go back on over here, we've got our, our profit and loss uh, by tag and that looks good. So let's go back on over and add another one. And let's say we put some expenses in place here and we'll hit the plus button and let's say we have some expenses. So expenses, and let's say this is gonna be, let's do another vendor, vendor three, vendor three, and okay. So we're gonna pay someone in February. And then again, the tags are up top. So I can't really assign it to, to a line item by line item but I'm gonna buy something that's purely for business 
And so let's say that we're gonna say this is gonna be supplies, business supplies for $600. And it's gonna be going to that tag. This is gonna decrease the checking account and the other side is gonna be an expense and it's gonna be applied to the tag of business. So I'll say, let's, let's save in new. If I check that out on the balance sheet, there it is on the balance sheet and notice on the balance sheet, they just don't give me the tag option at all over here. But on the income statement, we have that tag option. So we'll just say it's still business. I don't have any personal stuff uh, at the moment. So I'm gonna go back on over and then let's do a personal one. So I'm gonna say expenses to vendor three. Uh, this time I'm gonna delete the, the business and do the personal. It's in the same group, but now it's just the personal item. All right, that's all I want, get out of there. And then this is gonna go to utilities. Let's do utilities this time. Utilities, boom. And this is going to be for 300. And so this is going to decrease the checking account. The other side going to utilities and to the column of personal for the tags. And let's save and close it this time. Profit and loss running by that tag group. And notice what it does here. Uh, it put it into the business tag supplies. Oh, yeah, there it is utilities so it breaks it out notice what it doesn't do for you it doesn't give you that total the total column over here which is kind of what we like to see in when i do a profit and loss uh by by class or by location i'd like to see every item broken out business or personal and then the total but we can, we can double check it fairly easily by saying, okay, let me just look at the totals and see if that ties out to my income statement by total here. And I can also look at the unclassified, the ones that don't have a tag uh, and see if I have anything in there. So for example, if I don't assign something a tag, let's try that out. I'm gonna say plus button and let's say we make an expense and it's gonna to go to vendor number three. And this time I forgot to add a tag and I wanna add a tag to, to each transaction. How could I figure that out? So I'm gonna say, let's say this went to, this went to what I wanted to go to, miscellaneous, <laughs> miscellaneous. And I'll make it uh, an expense account and other other business expense, boom. And this is gonna be for $170. Let's say save and close that. And if I go to my profit and loss and, and run the profit and loss, it's still, it's not showing up even in that ungrouped area. So notice in order to, to see the fact that I didn't categorize something, I could say, okay, let me look at my business and personal and I have, I have supplies and utilities, but, and I could like total this up and see my total and compare that to my profit and loss that has, that has, um, that's just my totals right here. And I would see a difference of the miscellaneous 170.